Hello my Libras and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie and of course I am Debbie. Now I'm reading for June 16th through the 22nd. We have a new moon in there. We also have a transition into cancer season and I think you're going to have a new passion. I think it's a new passion for you. Anyway, I have done an overvision, overview, which is called a new vision, so please take a look at that. At the same time, remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? I kind of feel that very strong, um, just a new passion, a new set, kind of like you're taking a little more control. Because, again, I know that we're all talking, you know, what? I not, not that everyone's talking, but I know that with Pluto going back to Capricorn, it's like, oh, no, because, you know, the 15 years have been rather rough. But there is this sense, and again, with this stuff going on with Neptune and Saturn, there's this sense of really um, kind of saying, I'm not going to be the ping pong ball anymore. I'm going to be the paddle. And I feel like that is coming up in you or coming up for you more and more, my Libras. So let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What do we have going on for our Libra? Okay. Ooh, our page of, okay, page of Ariel. New job, new money, new source, new career. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else do we have? What else do we have for our Libras here? new source of money okay this one is also reversed okay all three of your cards are reversed so that has some strong energies this one has a little stronger energy just because it's the one that popped so it is a definitely a message for you so now we have the page page of ariel page's underlying energy is earth ariel is earth in this deck um, so we have Earth, Earth, we have Capricorn, we have Taurus, and we have Virgo. So what Capricorn has, um, if in many ways, I don't even want to say, has it destroyed it? Has it revealed it? What Capricorn has um, pulled apart, so you could see it that much clearer, um, is ready to provide you something more with this. I'm kind of getting this... Um, this sense, like what Capricorn has done, has revealed all of the hidden ingredients in, in the processed foods. And now, as it goes retro back, retrograde back into, I'm sorry, Pluto goes retrograde back into Capricorn, it's going to help you look for the really, the organics, the good ingredients. However, now take that analogy, and I have no idea why I had to say that, but take that analogy and put that to your work, to your career, to your path to your purpose, okay? And again, I find like, you know, I do feel like this is, you know, like you're, you're, you're tired of being the ball, you're, you know, the ping pong ball. You are turning into that paddle. And I don't, I think that this is, this is that time that's really going to push you forward. So that you could be, um, I don't know, this could be a time where you're actually looking at that new job, you're interviewing for that new job. Or again, I, I don't even think of it as a job, as more of a career or a purpose, okay? So the page of Ariel, Taurus, like I said, Uranus is in Taurus, Jupiter's in Taurus. So we do have some good, maybe maybe a little, I don't know, I don't know, Uranus can be a little unstable, but knows what he's doing, actually. So page of Ariel is reliable, clever, educated, balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. Again, I get that feeling like you're not going to be the, you know, you know you're taking things, taking a little more control. And I know that we could, there's only so much control we all have, but it's kind of like, no, I'm making decisions. I'm not just saying, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm making decisions, and I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, next card, reversed. The Queen of Ariel. So now we have the Queen, and again, we have that Ariel energy. Underlying energy to the queen is, is our water energy, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And if you think about it, every one of those signs is in play right now. The water energy, cup energy, is emotional, it's spiritual, it's very, it can be very loving and generous energy too. But, and again, this is that earth energy. The queen of Ariel has that deep commitment. She has that deep love. She has that sense of wanting to make sure that everyone and everything, including herself, is taken care of. 
And she also has an understanding that when she takes care of herself first, not in a selfish way, but just in the right way, you know, making sure she's sleeping, making sure she's getting the right foods. Again, I keep going back to those foods. And, I, you, know, get, you know, that she herself is feeling stable. She can then help others. This is where I talk about, like, you know, how, what do they tell you on airplanes when they're, they're giving you the, um, you know, the intro, uh, the flight attendants, and they're saying, in the, in the event of an emergency, should the um, oxygen masks fall from the ceiling, please remember to put them on you first so then you can take care of others. Because if you put it on someone else and it truly is an emergency, you could go unconscious and, you know, and not be able to help anyone else. So mature, practical, generous, and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice. And what I love about this and what I'm getting is that no matter, again, to, you know, I always say what's going on in the world, take, you need to live your life. And this is no matter what's going on in the world, there is always opportunities and there's always connections with higher power to just, you know, miracles, miracle energy can happen. Reversed again, the four of Gabriel. So now we have a four, first number, stability, organization, leadership. Gabriel is our fire energy. Leo, remember, Mars and uh, Venus is in Leo right now. And, you know, there's something about that couple. They're the it couple. They're spending some time together before Mars goes on his way. And remember, Venus Venus has a real strong connection. Yes, it has a strong connection with, was, is it Gemini? But it has a strong connection with Libra also. So, you know, so just remember that. So, again, fire energy, um, passionate, burning, determined. What I love about the Four of Gabriel, the Four of Wands, is that this is a completion and celebration energy. This is, you've done your work, you've gotten to that next step, celebrate. So, what do we say about this? And I'm going to sneeze. Hold on one second. Oh, thank you for all the bless yous. <laughs> so anyway, four of Gabriel. So what I love about this is, this is that, you know, you've gone to school, it's graduation, time to celebrate. Time to really reward yourself for a job you have been doing really well. Uh, maybe a personal, maybe you've been dating and you're coming to an engagement. Again, it's time to celebrate. You've been putting in the work. You're seeing the fruits of your labor. It's time to celebrate and it's time to reward yourself. So there's a lot of rewarding energy with this week for you. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. So let go. Remember, the waning moon, as it gets smaller, 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 um, let go, let go, let go. The new moon, as it gets bigger, 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 you know, request, request, request. Okay, so and we're, we're right at that time where right now you could still be doing some of the letting go, you know, kind of saying, nope, cleaning out my closet, cleaning out my... Uh, garage, getting rid of stuff I don't need them anymore, maybe even getting rid of the storage unit that you've been paying a couple of hundred bucks on a month. So anyway, let it go, and then you take that couple hundred dollars, maybe you're putting it into something that's even better for you. Anyway, let's see. Guardian angels, Holy Spirit, Father God, Mother God, Source, what higher power, Spirit Guides, what do you have for our Libras. What else would you like to say for our Libras? Yeah. So this is a this is a time really time to good for rewarding yourself. You've accomplished a lot, but again, new job, something, a new career, new career, new. It's more than a job, though. It's more than a job. New passion, new. It's more than a job. You tell me what it is. Okay. This one is also reversed. Fourteen. Now this is a major arcana card. This is the temperance card, so it's, a lot of times there's compromise with this, which eh, can go either way. Um, so we have a four, one, four, one, new beginnings, new, you know, new start, which we, you know, which again, a new job, an excellent opportunity coming your way. We talked about what four is. One plus four is a five, and that brings about change. A win-win solution. Now let's see, can we get that in here? Ah, so there's strength in diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, 
you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. I love this because it's not necessarily, well, I know it talks a little bit about compromise, but it's, it's like your eyes. Again, going back to that new vision, you're seeing more. Okay, start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. It just kind of feels like this is going to be that time when all of a sudden it's like you're looking and you're just seeing the bigger picture. It's you're seeing, it, this is a time for a bigger picture. Bigger picture moment for my Libras. Okay, let's see what else we've got going on here. As my table goes in and out, <laughs> let's see. With the inspirational wisdom from angels and fairies, what do we have for our Libras? What do we have for our Libras? Libra, Libra, Libra. What do we have for our Libras? Here we go. Libra, 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 Libra. My Libras. Okay, this one also reversed. So you've had everything reversed so far. Here we go. I believe, I believe, look at that, how pretty. Believe in your abilities to accomplish great things. Move forward in the profound way needed for your future work. That really, yeah, your future work. I believe. Okay, we're going to do the Moonology cards, but let's do this first. Crystal or energy for my Libras. What do we have? Crystal or energy. What would be helpful for my Libras? What's helpful for my Libras? Libra, Libra. Okay, let's see what we've got here. This one is not reversed, but let's see. Clear quartz. I, you know, I love clear quartz. It's very programmable, and you can cleanse it, run it under water, put it in the new moon. Um, very nice. I love clear quartz. Psychic ability, enhanced intuition, mental clarity, magnified energy. Clear quartz. Okay, so now. Remember what we have here. A new moon, a new start is coming. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So let's see what else we might have here for my... Oh, we got a bunch of cards falling. This one fell out. And we're going to just take these. I know that I always say, oh, well, okay, heck with it. They all want to be talked to. We will address them all. <laughs> Stop. Oh, it's not as many as I thought. Anyway, let's go on and see what we've got here for my Libras. Your commitment is being tested. Oh, that's interesting. Do you feel that way? First quarter moon. Reversed again. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Commitment being tested. Conclusions are within reach. Oh, I got that. Okay. Reversed again. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Again reversed. Surrender to the divine. And our last one. Look at the bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius and we just had that one so hmm yeah like I said when they come out they want to be seen so did any of that make sense to you my Libras let me know please I am reading my um, my comments I just haven't sat down to actually respond to them I like to do that on the bigger computer better type this that way anyway my Libras remember to do the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. You help me so much. You help the channel, and I really appreciate that. Anyway, also remember, know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.